Anyway, what's going on? Everybody, what's happening with y'all today? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. Hope everybody, each and every one of y'all is having the blessed day today. Hey, you talking about? Uh, at the mall. Yeah, get hit by no car. They, they see me, Kiki. Oh, my wife shouted. Why is he always worried about everything? You're going to get hit by a car while you vlogging. Right. Say hello. You got somebody to worry about. <laughs> hey. I know. Why ain't kicking no car? Why ain't kicking no car? Where your mask at? I ain't got no mask. You got one for me? No. I've been slacking on the mad lately, bro. You like, COVID, right COVID is still out here. It's still real. Uh, but anyway, um, real quick. Oh, today we're dropped. Join three Neapolitan women's exclusives dropped today. I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna be in the mall. That's where I'm at, if y'all wanna know. I'm at the mall, um, like I always am. Uh, <laughs> can't stay out the mall, Sheldon. That online stuff is just not personable enough. I gotta be able to hold them sneakers in these hands. What you talking about? But uh, we gonna see what drop or what's sitting in the mall today, possibly. Maybe it's no sitters, maybe it is. That's the whole thing about it. That's the mystery of it. Let's see what's happening with it. Feet today, I decided to go with the ochre yellow. Best hand in the game, guys. So cleansed, you feel me? Um, dope shoe. It's the re these shoes are the reason I didn't keep the pollens or any other yellow Jordan ones. Because I got these, man. You know what I'm saying? Minimalization and uh, selectiveness is key. Bro, I remember the mall on a Saturday used to feel like something, man. The sneaker game done changed so much. Coming to the mall on a Saturday used to just feel special because you know something drop, you know you're going to be able to see the shoe in hand or at least wait in line to get the shoe. But six is dropped on Wednesday, and that definitely used to would have been a, like a Saturday drop. But y'all come to love y'all know why Nike switching the release dates around to like days in the week. If there's a reasoning for it, y'all let me know. But anyway, vlogging to we in uh, Jimmy Jazz, bro. They got the Lemon Lime MX 95, boy. Springtime action. What y'all think about them? I'm not crazy about them. I mean, they're not bad. I kind of like, I kind of don't like the black with the uh, green stripe right here uh, by the laces. That's not my favorite, but I do like the little Lemon Lime Sprite vibes going on. It's not quite Sprite. That yellow is not anyway, but that's what, it give me the old vibe. You know what I'm saying? It likes a little springtime shoe. What y'all think of these? What y'all think on? Uh, and this store finally got these right here. So I like to tell you, just like them uh, Prestos right there. But um, I was just looking at these right here. Like I said, uh, I call them undefeated MS-95s. I'm gonna get them just like I got these right here. What I was trying to say before I, I got these, I'm gonna end up getting them too. If I find them on sale, it's over with, it's over with. I don't care if it's $10 off. Is there anything that's sitting, I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm just not gonna pay full retail. That's that's a me thing. It's actually not really a big deal because I can buy them for retail, but I don't know. I feel like I get anything off the shoe. It's a good thing, especially with many shoes that I buy. So as far as Air Jordan sitting, we still got uh, a couple of weeks after the release, we still got Brave Blue uh, Jordan 13. Somebody tried to school me and was like, this shoe used to be a low and now it's a high. You don't know your shoes. Or I, I was like, bro, because I was like comparing them to the Flint's. I said, bro, I know these not flints. I know it's not a poor man's flint, a broke man's flint. I ain't say nothing about it. All I said was the exact same blue that's on the flint 13s. And if the flint sell out, I think these would probably be, uh, people should be jumping on these too. That's all I see. Go look at my full early review on this shoe. If you want some details, my boy, whoever he is. I forgot what your name is. Anyway, they got the mids in here too. Show these last time. Got the uh, red and black, black and red. Uh, Air Jordan mids. You know what I'm saying? They aight. They aight. So these are the Jordan 1 uh, GS actual bread. Black plus red equals bread. So y'all comment below. Number one, should it have been a high? Number two, should it have been a, um, in adult sizes? Or is it just cool to let the kids have these? I think it's just cool to let little kids have these because these like real gimmicky with the black and red bread. It's crazy because the culture came up with bread. They came up with the word bread. Sneakerheads came up with the word bread. Now Nike done find a way to like, you know, just make it thing like, like it was their idea. You see what I'm saying? Nike, this was y'all idea to call these bread? Nope, I think it was the community. But it's all good. I ain't hating on it, you know what I'm saying? They took the concept and ran with it, now they making money off of it. I might, I, I might even buy my daughter up here, who knows? They got a side, so anyway, they got these. <laughs> I mean, when I think about them, like I said, it just seems like gimmicky kids type vibes, but I'm not really mad at it. It's a clean shoe. Y'all know, know I like these colorways, so you can't go wrong with them. So, update. I just left uh, Jimmy Jab, bro. 
It's an update, update, update on Jimmy Jazz. It's no longer gonna be Jimmy Jazz. The manager just told me that um, they got bought by Snipes. So all Jimmy Jazz is gonna turn to Snipes. They're gonna change the sign, everything. Just like when JD Sports got all the finish lines, same thing. All Jimmy Jazz gonna be Snipes. It's crazy because I think JD Sports bought DTL or something like that, but Snipes bought Jimmy Jazz. I know uh, JD Sports was like a European spot at first. I think Snipes could be too. I can't remember, man. But y'all let me know uh, what y'all think about Snipes. We ain't got no Snipes in Atlanta, but apparently all Jimmy Jag gonna be Snipes. So uh, let me know anything y'all know about Snipes. I don't really know about it too much. I bought some off, uh, offline from them a couple of times, but that's about it. So let me know what y'all think about Snipes. Jimmy Jazz gonna be Snipes. All right, we in JD Sports, and where should I start? So they got these mids that look like um, look like I dropped them on the floor again. What's up with me dropping these shoes lately? Anyway, they got the mids that look like the Zen Master uh, Jordan Fours. That same kind of like pattern. They remind me of the Zen Master. What y'all think about these? It's like a canvas. I think it's another canvas material. Is it? It's some similar to canvas right there, but they got that like spaced out like Zen Master looking uh, pattern on there, shawty. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the black toe color blacking. Everybody hate on me so much. I really don't get it. I'm, I'm not crazy about me. I just prefer highs, but I don't I don't hate me as, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, the reason that I ain't really mess with me is like that because the materials don't be as good as the high. And um, it's the same thing with these, but I think it's a it's a dope little concept. I ain't know they were dropping. They all right. They ain't bad. And then they got these, which I showed on my last video, that somebody commented and said this wasn't royal blue, it was navy blue, so get him out of here. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's that shoe again. They got a, a few pairs in, in here. Then they got a, a low with a similar pattern on it. It's a little bit more green color in this one, kind of like a mint. And the bottoms is mint as well. So these, you know what I'm saying, got a couple of little mids and stuff going on. If you want to just jump on some mids, Lows, stuff like that, man. Ain't bad, you feel me? I don't know what the size run looking like, but they got some uh, sixes left over. This is a men's size right here, I can tell. It's an eight. So this is the uh, Jordan 6 Midnight Navies. Uh, had to have these, bro. Been 20 plus years since these dropped, so I had to get these in the collection. You feel me? But uh, And they ain't got the buttery leather. Y'all go watch my review on these. It's a dope shoe. I'm glad they said I'm glad Somebody uh, able to grab these. And they got these dunks right here, but I don't know what the hell going on with them. They chunky. They should call it be chunky ass dunk. You know what I'm saying? Thickness. <laughs> also got a pair of the basketball Yeezys in their thing. Um, these always sitting here. Every time they drop in JD Sports, they always have pairs just chilling. So, yeah, I ain't really mad at these too much, but you know what I'm saying? They uncomfortable. I tried them on. They just, I hate the way they fit on feet. Of course, they got the blues too. Uh, I think everybody, everybody pretty much got pairs of these chilling. Also got these shadow Jordan One Low guys. My wife says she want them, so we gonna get them for her. I like them too. They clean. They dope. If they did them the OG way, I'd probably be a definite cop for me. But they, yeah, they definitely did a pretty good job on these right here. They clean. What y'all thinking? Come blue. Also got the Gore-Tex highs right here in this. Kind of like, I don't know, it's a dope colorway and they like got some pretty good buttery materials on these guys. Shot it. Look at the um, I don't, a 3M swoosh is the only thing that I don't like on these, but uh, I think they like $200 too. Yeah, $200 because they got like the weather, uh, the weather resistant materials and stuff on them, man. So, I mean, I like them, bro. I like the suede at the top or the, whatever material that is, man. The shoe look real good. I like these, man. Um, this like actually so far the Gore-Tex. This is the best colorway to drop, in my humble opinion. What y'all think of these, man? They hard to me. And of course, we got Jordan Sixes, man. Jordan Six Midnight Navy is just chilling in the mall. But what the hell going on? What's going on? It's boy. I'm telling you, boy. Going back, boy. Going back in time on that. Yeah. We going back to 2017 on that. Yeah, with the shoes, sim, man. Let go, bro. Hey, I'm excited. Hey, you talking about? Then the 312 Legacies again. Stop it, I say. Do have the uh, 72 and 10 lows. Did they drop today? I can't remember when they dropped. I think they did drop today, but anyway, 72 and 10 lows. Y'all already seen my uh, review, my full review. Go check it out. 
Um, but they do have them in DTLR and full size runs. They're doing first come, first serve. But we going back to normal, shall they? I think they're really dope. We going back to normal, bro. Starting to see dope releases sitting, bro. I'm, I'm digging it. In my opinion, just like what back in 2016, 17, every release like this should sit. You should always be able to get shoes like this, bro. Only things that should sell out is collabs. Stuff like this you should always be able to get, bro. Anyway, 72 and 10, full size run, DTLR, Stonecrest, Mall shot. Here you talking about. Yeah, man, back at the crib and. The mall was aight today, but it's beginning to look a lot like 2016, man. That was, which I say 2016, 2017 was the main years that sneakers and Jordans and stuff are starting to sit. Well, they were just sitting, bro. So it looked like it's starting to look like that again. Sneakers sitting again. What y'all think? We had 72 and 10s, whole full size run, and Detail Lot also had. Uh, a lot of sizes in the Jordan 6 uh, Midnight Navies as well. We had a whole bunch of mid Jordans in dope colorways, some Jordan Lows in dope colorways. Those shadows were pretty clean, man. So uh, they didn't have a lot of sizes in those. They Actually, the mall said they just keep getting stuff on random release dates. Like they really catching up on a lot of their orders now. So it looked like stuff gonna start sitting, man. Jordan 13 is like, what, two weeks after the drop. Um, uh, Brave Blue Joint still sitting, you feel me? So, what y'all think, man? We going back to normal. It's starting to look a little bit that way, man. And uh, from what I'm heard from some of the managers in there, they gonna start getting more shoes and stuff like that in. Didn't get a chance to look at the Neapolitan uh, women's exclusive Jordan 3s, but um, I've seen them in hand already. I showed them on a video when I went to a boutique, so I know what they look like. It's a clean shoe, but it really looked like a mocha with a hint of pink, so I'm not really mad that they didn't come in extended sizes for me to wear, you feel me? But I did want to get a look at them today, just in hand again just because today what well, today is the release right so all the uh, all those threes were reserved to it uh at uh foot locker so probably tomorrow after the people didn't come pick up their reserves they might have a couple of pairs floating around still haven't seen the charles barclays yet the phoenix sun colorway and i still have yet to see any auburn uh bo jackson sitting around but i feel like i'm gonna end up running into some stuff like that i think those are a little bit more limited those shoes like that anyway i appreciate y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed the vlog man i enjoyed making it hope y'all enjoyed watching watching it as always uh hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit the notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation stand all the way up to the moon on them you feel me click the link below in the description to get you some mike rich official merch on my mike rich shop man anyway keep watching my video because that's what i'm here for gone Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches, kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone all the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone. Straight up to the moon on them. Hey. Hey.